Let's learn about the AWS Pricing Calculator. If you go out to a search engine, you can type in AWS Pricing Calculator, and you'll come to a link that says calculator.aws. So follow that link. When you get to this page, you want to click on the orange button that says Create Estimate. All right, once you're on this page, you have the option of selecting from over 100 different AWS services. Let's go ahead and filter this down, and let's look at pricing out an EC2 instance for a common use case, which would be hosting a website. So I'm going to click on this tile. I'm going to click the Configure button, and I get a form here. And the form allows me to give a name to my estimate. Let's just say this is going to be a home builder website. So let's just say I'm going to have an EC2 instance that hosts a website for home builders. Um, the first thing I need to check is what region do I want this in, and I'm selecting Ohio. Um, one of the interesting facts here is that depending on the region you select in the world, your EC2 instance cost could be higher or lower. So keep that in mind. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. Now, um, before I go any further, notice that it, there's already an estimate of price here, and the reason for that is it has already selected a T4G.nano as the default instance type here. Um, we'll come back to that later. Um, okay, first thing that we want to look at is uh, tenancy, meaning do you want to have an EC2 instance that's basically on a dedicated box or not? If you change, notice the price here. Um, if I change this to dedicated hosts or dedicated box, uh, they change the type of instance that you're doing to be in a more expensive, more powerful one, and the price goes to 5300 a year. And I just happen to know that this is for a three-year uh, upfront cost, so you're paying for three years worth of using that particular instance. At any rate, um, dedicated hosts are going to be more expensive than a shared, uh, shared instance. So shared just means that other people have virtual machines on the same Amazon hardware as you do, but you, in theory, aren't affected by their traffic and they're not affected by yours. Okay, uh, next thing is operating system. Quite often when we're doing EC2 instances in the cloud, we're using Linux operating systems. If we choose other operating systems, uh, the price will go up for a variety of reasons. One reason is licensing costs, and the other is some of these servers have minimum hardware requirements. So if I click Windows Server, then my three-year upfront cost for renting that EC2 instance goes to 128, but we've changed to t2.nano as the type of instance. Um, if we check uh, other types like SQL Server, that needs to have some pretty beefy hardware. Um, so that's a $15,000 cost for paying upfront for three years of usage of that. Let's go back to Linux for our inexpensive website that we're running. Uh, I won't, won't, won't worry about workloads here, but if I were to click on some of these, it allows me to scale up to two or three or four instances and have that included in my um, cost. But have those um, extra scaling instances only be temporary. So that just kind of confuses the calculation. Let's just say constant usage, one instance. Right now we're, we're doing for a three-year upfront estimate. We'll change it to a monthly estimate in just a minute. Um, let's scroll down here to look at the hardware. So here's your instance type, and currently it's set on t4g.nano, which is technically less than one cent Per hour. It's about a half of one cent per hour. Um, that's pretty small. I'm going to change this to t2.micro. Or actually, yeah, yeah, it's good enough. t2.micro. And that one has about one cents an hour. And it's got one CPU and one gig of memory, which is twice the memory of the other one that we were looking at a minute ago. Okay, so because of that, the, for this very, very small computer, the price has gone up a little bit, um, but it's got more hardware than before. All right, so we've selected our hardware. Now let's go down a little bit. Now here's a really interesting thing. Um, the default option on this, on this form, on this calculator, has put us to as if we were paying upfront the entire cost uh, three years. Uh, so. So divide 136 
66 by um, 36 months, and that would give you the, let's just go ahead and do that, equals one, 136 divided by 36 months. Uh, we're paying $3.77, 78 cents a month, pretty low to rent that server. So that's pretty good. Um, if we go over to on demand, the price now is listed with nothing up front and it cost $8.47 per month. Now, most of us, when we spin up an EC2 instance, we don't pay up front. Uh, and when we don't pay up front uh, and, and sign a contract for one to three years, we're paying at the on demand price, which is the absolute highest cost that you could possibly spend for, for using an EC2 instance. And yet, this is the default that all of us go to. So, uh, if anybody's watching this video and you know people using EC2 instances, uh, chances are at your place of business you could save up to 66% on the cost of your cloud computing bill by simply jumping over to a pay upfront plan rather than a pay on demand plan. Um, but at the, at the same time, not everybody has a lot of money to pay upfront, and so 847 doesn't sound all that bad on a month by month cost. Okay, so let's go with that because that's typically how people do things. Um, now, if I were going to rent a web server, and uh, th there are two other things that I would want to consider that people oftentimes do not consider in their cost. Like people oftentimes get the 847 a month price for this, but there are two things they don't take into account. One is you have to have a hard drive on your computer. So let's go ahead and open this up. And before I change anything, I'm going to click Show Details. All right, so right now it's showing uh, what all the costs are that are part of this estimate. Okay, but I have the hard drive part open, and I'm going to say storage amount, and I'm going to type in 8 for 8 gigabytes. And now you can see that it, there's an additional cost of 64 cents per month. So that's not very much at all. Uh, I don't know if that's less than a penny an hour over the course of the whole month, but basically the, the storage is, is negligible in terms of the cost. Okay, so but our, our cost, but we did go up from 847 to, to now 911 for the whole month. All right, now here's the thing that really kills and surprises everybody that uses a cloud account is the data transfer. So you come down here and basically all incoming traffic is considered free, but the outgoing traffic uh, from your website you have to pay for. So let's see what happens if you say my web server is going to transfer out 500, not terabytes, but let's just go gigabytes of traffic per month to customers. Ooh, um, now I'm at 5411 a month. So notice what happened. The data transfer cost is $45 a month, which is many times the cost of the EC2 instance. So uh, as we end this video talking about using the AWS pricing calculator, what I'd like to, to highlight here is that usually we only consider the cost of the EC2 instance itself, but when it is put into use and it's actively being visited by people, the, the cost of the data transfer can actually be much higher than the cost of the EC2 instance hardware itself.